Hello everyone, Tsuku here, and I'm here with another episode of the NNDL. Um, this is the last week of the main season, uh, week 13, and we're facing off against the Philadelphia Phantoms, led by Lord Xi. I think I pronounced that right, I probably pronounced that wrong, but oh well. Um, they took over for one, who was originally meant to be my last week. But the team is still pretty much the same, so it's gonna be an interesting matchup. They have a team of Ferrothorn, Gligar, Yitran, Hydreigon, Jellicent, Lopuni, Mega, Togenomaru, Tepinch, Wigglytuff, and Zapdos. A lot of really, really big threats. Like, really, really big. Um, I don't really know how to go about this this week um i am in playoffs already so i don't really have to worry about anything um hold up everything's going wrong in my docs um it's it should all be fine no matter what but um it's still good to like be prepared for these kinds of things one of the things I noticed is that he has a heavy reliance on contact effects. He has Ferrothorn with um, the pro he can run Rocky Helmet on it and the Sticky Barbs. Um, the actually it's not Sticky Barbs. You know what I mean. Um, he could have Flame Body Heatran, which could be very annoying. Um, Jellicent with Curse Body, although it almost definitely has to run. Um, water absorb here for my um, Jacobish. Um, spiky shield plus iron barbs Togedemaru, which is very annoying. And he has Zapdos static plus rocky helmet. All very annoying things to my Rillaboom. However, they're also all negated by protective pads. God tier item, especially in a mix up like this, in a matchup like this. I have Source Dance, Grassy Glide, Drain Punch, Knock Off. You know the deal with this. Just a strong mom. Um, I can Drain Punch the Heatran if it comes in, I believe. Two, yeah, Heatran at max speed reaches 278. So I made this to outspeed it by one point. Um, I can SD up and then Drain Punch it if it's low enough. Uh, Grassy Glide is nice for just practically everything else. Uh, Drain Punch is for Heatran, Hydreigon, and Togedemaru. And Ferrothorn, actually. And then Knockoff is just nice for, like, say, a, a Eviolite Gligar. Um, or, like, something, something Scarf Hydreigon. So that's gonna be really fun to use. I have Deontay Mega, who can actually kind of single handedly. Um, take this entire team down. Um, I have Rock Polish, meaning I outspeed Hydra Scarf High Dragon and Lopunny um, after one. And then I have Earth Power for the Togedemaru Heatran, um, Mystical Fire for the Ferrothorn, and also kind of the Togedemaru. Plus, one thing it can do is lower the Zapdos as attack. And then I have Moonblast for everything else. His one and well, actually, he has two answers to this uh, would be Jellicent and Wigglytuff. Jellicent is a big one I want gone for this next one, so as much pressure I can put on this, the better it is. I really went all out on that because Gallade Gallade can just win this. Steadfast, very interesting, boosts my uh, my speeds by one if I flinch. He has Lopunny Mega, who likes to fake out. I can half the damage with the Chillin' Berry. Um, never used the Chillin' Berry before, so this is gonna be fun. And I can half the damage of the fake out, get my Steadfast Boost, and then Close Combat plus Triple Axel. Has no switch ins, except Jellicent. And maybe Wigglytuff, although Wigglytuff, I don't know if he brings to my team. He might, but there's a lot of counters to it. But this with 
Coach Combat hits Ferthorn, Heatran, Hydreigon, Lopunny, which I outspeed after the step fast boost. Togunamaru, kind of wiggly tough. And then I have Triple Axel for the Zapdos, Trap Inch, Hydreigon, and Gligar. Uh, also, Close Combat, the Hydreigon can also work. And then I have the last two moves, very interesting. Protect, so he can fake me out again. And Taunt. Specifically for like a low Jellicent, it can not Strength Zap me or Wish me or anything like that. Um, so the point is kind of like pressuring that Jellicent and then just winning with Glade. He'll, even if he like, doesn't fake me out. He won't click a fighting move on me with Lopunny. Like, guaranteed he won't. So, I can half the damage from like a return or something and kill it with close combat. Either way, I get a big threat out of the way. This can just sweep. If not, it opens the way up really well for the NC. I have Arcanine, who unfortunately can't run Intimidate. Because Megalopony is the one I want Intimidate for, and it gets scrappy. Annoying, but oh well. Um, this has just enough speed, again, to outspeed the Heatran, because it has Scorching Sands. Which can hit Heatran for a decent bit of damage. I have a bit of Spatek investment. Um, I have Flamethrower for most other things. And then I have Toxic for Hydreigon and Jellicent coming in. And Morningstone to like stall out some Toxic turns. The one answer he has to this is Gligar. Which um, Gligar could come. Like realistically speaking, that thing could be a problem. But I do have Gligar's score. So we just be kind of sitting in each other's space and not be able to do anything. I have this Mel Mandel set, very interesting. Toxic, Body Press, Iron Defense, Protect. I wanted to go Oka on this, I uh, decided to go Lefties. This is a counter to Togemaru, is a counter to Lopunny to an extent, counter to Ferrothorn. Um, can hit a Heatran coming in really, really hard, but most importantly, his biggest answers to this, Jellicent and Zapdos, don't like that toxic. They don't like being toxic, taking that chip, being weakened for everything. So this th this week is a lot about toxic chip into a potential sweep. And then last I have Skuntank with a very interesting set. I went with physical because Crunch Facade are good options. Dig specifically for the Heatran. He, I could see him go Heatran on this because Crunch is not that good for it and it resi it's immune to poison. So it could like be a switch into a Wigglytuff. Also this gets Fire Blast and he likely knows that. So Ferrothorn isn't safe here. So he'll want to go Heatran, which I can then dig Power Herb and just kill. Also again, just barely outspeeds this. So really cool set idea also i can get the aftermath with this in necessary which is a nice bit of extra chip um this slot was actually one i struggled a lot with i i closed it i feel kind of underprepared for a glickar honestly but my main focus is that jellicent once jellicent is out of the way so many of my mons have so many good openings so that's the basic idea also i just realized he can flinch me with Dark Pulse on, on Glade, which is also potentially really good. So I'm just going to try this. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm I'm in a good position for like finals anyway, but we'll, we'll just try to make the most of this and hopefully get ourselves another dub under our belt. And there we go. Okay. Um. Kind of surprised to see Tuppence here. Um, what else was I expecting? I'm gonna grab the link real quick for people to see. Uh, swap this to the NMDL page. No Ferrothorn is pretty huge.
Uh, that, uh, my Rillaboom really good here, especially seeing no Ferrothorn. Um, he didn't bring Togo the Maru, which I was kind of expecting. My Melmetal is potentially really good here. Same with Skun Tank. Lead Arcanine here, I think. He's likely leading Lopunny. The annoying thing. I mean, yeah, not for me, but. The annoying thing is Scrappy on uh, Lopunny ignores my Intimidate. So that's really annoying. Do I want to lead Arcanine? Arcanine is a nice lead. Gallade can just win here, is the thing. Okay. Surprised he do that. He goes Skuntank here, I think. I, I'm surprised he didn't expect a DNC switch. Dark Pulse. Is this Scarf is the question. Oh, okay. Can we instantly do this? I should, I am one point faster, so uh, oh okay, nice. I'm gonna click Grunge here. That's good damage. I'm I'm happy with that. Has, having heat on gone is really nice. Two seventy one, two seventy eight. I mean, I think I just got the anti here, right? And an earth power here will kill it. Oh yeah, wait, I'm modest because uh Oh god. Top inch comes in. Hello there. We eat those. Do I just click grassy I think I just click grassy glide here. Yeah. That's good. Oh god. Okay, well that's a shame for him. He would have trapped me there. Yeah, that thing with sheer force is really strong. It has like... The, the attack stat of like, I believe it's the base 100, right? That speed there. Third page. We grab the page. The question is, what does he do here? Hi, Dragon. I am bulky, so I can just click Drain Punch here. Oh, he went for it. Holy crap, I'm gonna click knock off here. That's a threat. DNC, rock polish up. Moonblast. And he can't strength zap me or anything. He did burn me. 
That's really annoying. That's fine. All I need is to keep him low. Plus I can potentially crit here or higher roll. Twenty-seven to eighty-four for the eight. I keep getting forty-eight, forty-fives. That is fine, honestly. Click Toxic. His Scald isn't gonna do shit here because uh, the Lord's Patek. Nice. And a Flamethrower here. Aha, a nice burn on this. I'm gonna go hard mail metal. And iron defense up here, I think. Nice. Okay, we have a very bulky mail medal here. I'm gonna click protect. Toxic on this. Of course. Of course I would get paralyzed. <laughs> Arcanine comes in, clicks Flamethrower here, I'm pretty sure. That's good damage on this. There's some extra chip here. The thing is, I can stall this out with the Morning Sun. I am faster than this. Nice, click flamethrower here. Click morning sun. Um, I think I click close combat there. The thing is, that jellicent is in the way, yeah. Taunt this. Protect. Triple Excel, I guess. That's really sad. I think I did play that pretty well. The burn, immediate burn on DNC was really annoying. I was so expecting him to be strength staff too. 
The Hex was a really cool bring with Skald. But yeah, this was a this was a fun match. I don't think it this mattered because um, I was in, I'm in playoffs and I think everybody almost made it in playoffs. So we're gonna g come back in playoffs and try our best to win. Um, probably lose first round because that's how things go around here. Um, but it'll be fun. Uh, with that, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.